I'd do a quick little video to let you know that Bitch Shoot is not the anti-censorship website that they claim it is. And I have proof <laughs> because they've deleted 18 of my videos. Yeah, like 20% of my body of work, they have out and out deleted. Now here's the interesting thing. I only recently went to BitChute because of the YouTube soft censoring, shadow banning. But YouTube's always put all my work up. They shut it down, um, definitely. And they've been shutting down, particularly the last three videos. But BitChute puts it to the process process and lets me go that far. And then sometimes they even publish them. And when I'm not looking, they delete them. Mm -hmm. So 18 of them. So I want you to think for yourself as to why they would do that. And I'm going to tell you why I think they're doing it. Because I believe that BitChute is actually just a containment box for the right. And they want to paint a picture of the right. Of hysteria. Anger. And mostly white men. <laughs> they will allow for the NWO authorized content and things that are out there and everybody putting their little spin on it. They'll tolerate that. But what they won't tolerate is people like me. Because what I'm doing is actually talking you through this. But I'm not only doing that, I'm empowering your independence, which is in complete contravention to their great awakening to come because the great awakening of the World Economic Forum is collective communism. Yes, it is. And they don't want you thinking independently. They want you to be 100% reliant on society. Whenever I mention the World Economic Forum, Bill Gates gets by, biotechnology, the psychology, of what's going on right now. The programming, the actual plot and steps they're taking to attain these societal goals of an all one by 2030. And eventually an all one of species in any case, I thought I'd give you a list of all of the videos because I appreciate you subscribing over here and there's very few of you. So I wonder why in the world would they censor me unless I had something super important to tell you. You tell me. So in any case, if you go to YouTube, you can hit these videos from the beginning to the end. So I'm going from the latest video that has been deleted from BitChute to the last. So here we go. The Great Awakening from Within. Why would they delete that? Deleting the darkness. Finding our true north. Who is in bed with China? Wiring humanity into the medical matrix. The wicked web of the new order. Back on the biotech front. When the data disputes the narrative. The great socialist switch out to the circular economy. Intimidation and living in the light of truth. Now, just so you know, several of those videos in there are talking about biotechnology, bullying, intimidation. And in that last one, I give you a history of my intimidation because... It's real and it happened and I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. Be ready to move and groove. It's the Agenda 2030 hustle. Let's keep our eye on the Agenda 2030 pie. 
China is spying on me. It's 2030. We own nothing and we have no privacy. Failure to mention Agenda 2030 is a betrayal of trust. How the coronavirus, delusions of the circular economy, and Agenda 2030 intersect. Now that was the first one they deleted. And actually it hung there for a good week and a half, which is odd because my newer ones will be deleted after two days. And then it deleted. And I tried to put it up again. It wouldn't be, and they just deleted it outright. And the final was, is the coronavirus just a cover? What's really going on in Wuhan? <laughs> now, I don't know anyone who's ever had this many videos deleted, okay? <laughs> I don't. And I know a lot of the truthers out there. And for some reason, their work's getting through, but mine's not. And again, out and out, deleted. David Icke talked about this, and it was about how they don't want reasonable people explaining, again, the psychology of it all. But they also don't want anyone to empower you not to think their way. And right now, I learned actually a couple of years ago is when I first started detecting it in the spiritual community. Because the more I got immersed in my own spirituality, I was coming across some suspect ideas. And a lot of it was complacency with the new order of what's to come, based on a great awakening. But I don't believe many of the spiritualists understand that this is a <laughs> manipulated awakening to collective communism. In any case, I think it's really important that we continue to identify what is getting taken down and why. And again, why little me? Because honestly, I don't have that many subscribers. <laughs> I don't. They've been burying me, shadow banning me right from the get-go. It's only because I have hammered and marketed my pieces that I have gotten what I've gotten. And now I can see the slow halt. Again, why I'm going to Patreon to some safety. But for those people watching BitChute and nattering that this is an anti-censorship site, you're wrong. And I have the proof.